One last thing you should know about your Mini 2 scanner. Now, let me tell you how to do the calibration. Now, keep this in mind. Uh, once you received your, uh, your Mini 2 scanner, we have done the calibration for you in the factory, but because you might bought your Mini 2 scanner after a while, and especially after we have updated our firmware, so it's better to recalibrate your Mini 2 scanner once you received it to better, for, for the better performance. And it's when is the time to recalibrate is when you feel that your tracking is not just not right or not as good as you have it previously. Or maybe like you have some noises when you think it's too much, which is not should be, which is not should be the, the ordinary case. Then you might need to recalibrate your Mini 2 scanner, okay? And well, if you don't have to do, but you still want to do it, it won't break your scanner. It's just a waste of time. So yeah, you can choose to recalibrate your scanner anytime. And here is how you can do it. Now, uh, you can enter the calibration program right here. It locates on the left corner. It says scanner calibration. Click this, it'll take you to the calibration program. Okay, and please read the instruction. It's very good. So first is we should put our scanner and the calibration board in a well-litted environment. Not too strong, not too dim. And here is something I will show you how to, but just keep this in mind. There is an indicator bar, actually three of them. Your main goal is to keep all these indicator bar in green by moving, lifting, lift it up and down. And also like this, tilt left and right. And also tilt upward and backward. But keep this in mind, you don't like, tilt your scanner this way, only tilt your scanner once for one direction at a time, like this way, this way, but definitely not this way, right? Okay, and this is the calibration board. It comes with your packaging, so you can find this, and it doesn't matter the orientation. You can do like this, 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 any way you, you wish. So the software allow us a chance to do, the pra to do some practice, so let's do that. And when we're doing the calibration, it's better, let's stand up a little bit and let's hold the scanner very tight. So this, in this way, we have a better control of your scanner. Okay, now you see there are three indicator bars and your job is, number one, is to keep them all in green, like this, it's, this is good. And, oh, I'm too, I'm too quick. So let's do the practice once again. And job number one, keep the indicator bar in green. Job number two is to move, to match the red cross and the white cross together. Just like when you are doing the calibration in the FPS game, like this. Okay, good. Okay, now let's start the calibration. Now first, it will ask us to, to do an accuracy check. Well, it's pretty much the same when we're doing the practicing. Okay, three indicator bars in green. Let's match the cross. Okay, now it says accuracy check has passed. We don't have to do the calibration. And again, like I mentioned, you can choose to do it regardlessly, even though it won't break your scanner, just a waste of time. And well, in my case, I need to show you. So let's just click continue calibration. Or if you don't want to do it, just click finish or exit the calibration program. Okay, now vertical, step one. Vertical means you point your scanner vertical to the calibration board. Okay, let's click next. Okay, now first three indicator bars in green, match the two cross together. Okay, done. Step two, green, match, done. Okay, and again. Done. Okay, so step one, finished. Now we need to tilt our scanner to the left, just like in the instruction picture it says. Okay, now as you can see, the scanner row adjustment at the, at the top is not right. So we need to tilt until it's correct, right? And also the 
the height adjustment. Okay, now all three are green. Now let's move, pan it. Okay, it's done. Okay, move up, match, done. Up, match, done. Okay, now left side finish. Now we need to tilt our scanner to the right. Same thing. Okay. Green, match, done. Green and. Okay, that's a. Well, this is a bit hard to control. Now you need to be careful and keep a steady hand. All right. Now, right side has finished. Now the front. Okay. Like it shows, we tilt our scanner to the front. And look, if you have lost all the indicator bar, that means you are out of the calibration board. What you need to do, you just move back to the calibration board to find back your indicator bar, all three of them. Okay, step. Okay, now I'm just gonna do it quickly. Okay, last step, tilt your scanner backward. Okay, finished. Easy, right? If you find it's, it's a bit hard for yourself, you just keep a steady hand and practice a bit more in the practicing stage. Okay, after you complete it, you can choose to save this data from this calibration or discard it. And once you have choose to save or discard it, it will take you back and exit to the main page.